get the language right tonight. Plant. How you doing, brother? 
What's up? I, I got a question for you. What's right up? Now, guy. What's the question? I mean, I mean, I'm a pastor. Never did. Okay. Let's do something. Like the Holy Never did. One second. Respect. Yes. Um, you gotta treat the people the right thing. You gotta have love, kind, compassion. Yeah, we are teaching the laws of God. That's love, kind, and compassion. Wait, wait, wait. You, you want to have a question or you have a statement? Have a statement. You have a question or a statement? Can you interrupt it? Oh, you know, you see me talking to them, right? Just yeah. listen, listen, your pastor. Listen, listen, right? Get the real word. Get the right word. Yeah. Well, what's your nationality? Puerto Rican. No, no, no. So you don't know. You can tell your pastor so you don't know who you are. All right. Hold up. Hold the piece. Just listen. Hold your piece. We'll get to your question, all right? We'll get to your question, but don't come here. Think, think, think. I mean, I, I, I don't deal with uh, salvation. So the one God, one salvation, one Holy Ghost. Follow yes, 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 yes. You're right. For the Israelites. We will deal with that. Okay, good. Okay, 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 okay
happening now or in the future? No, now. now. Feel, oh, he said future. No, now. It's no. It's, wait, read it again. My man was on point. What's your name again, brother? Marcus. Marcus. It shall what? What? It shall come to pass. It's go, like Marcus just said. It's going to happen in the future. This is written 4,000 years ago by Moses. By Moses the prophet. Give me the book again. Show. Let's show how Moses look. Let's get a book again and show how Moses look. What? Huh? That's how I think. Um, about like how say if we still the little thing. Huh? Say if we still something little. Yeah. They don't know how God, merciful God is. Sin no more. You know what Be I'm saying? Bestow sin no more. If we don't want to, listen, don't take the mercies of God for granted. Because look, we say God, all oh, grace, grace, grace. Then why does slavery happen? We're going to show you that was not the grace. Yes. Right yeah, 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 go ahead, brother. So, so this is the image of Moses. So, okay? so read it again. Who's speaking? Read it again. What? what? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Huh? But it shall come to pass. Who's speaking? Moses. Let's see. Marcus, I want you to do it. Let's see. I want you to come here. Come here. Come here. I want you guys to show up. Come here. What does the image say? It says, above, right? Virgin and throne for child and prophets. Detail. Prophet who? Prophet who? Moses. Who's this? A depiction of Moses. Uh, what color is he? They could black. Use any black. Color. Yeah, every color. Moses is a black man. So we're the image of royalty. So they changed, they altered our image. They changed everything and put us in a low state. We got to, we're in the bottom right now. We got to learn. We got to find our way and fight our way back up to the top. Right. All those wicked thoughts, all the evil that's going on in our mind, whatever's keeping us back, we got to fight. Whatever's going through our mind, we got to fight. We just can't give in to these thoughts, right? We can't give in to these, well, somebody might have said something wrong to you. Somebody might have done something wrong to you. We can't take it out on them. You got to think before you do something. You understand what I'm saying? You got to think before you commit the action. Because the action could destroy you. Read it again. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Huh? But it shall come to pass. But it's going to happen in the future, Moses, the black man is saying. If Moses was alive today, they would call him a Haitian. I'll say it again. If Moses, which is from the tribe of Levi, if he was walking today, he will be from the same tribe that that brother's from. he will be from the same tribe that he's from. A so-called Haitian. But it's going to happen in their future read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Hey, some of his commandments. All his commandments. All of God's commandments. <laughs> Every single one. No, but we we give it grace. We give it mercy to the blood of the Lord of Jesus. Yeah, now let's see how much mercy you have when we get shot down the streets. Yeah, the same people claim, cr claiming crying mercy. I bet you the Darren what uh, was Darren Roof? Dylan Roof. They said the same thing too, right? Mercy's given to him. Why did then why did they die? Our people getting judged for their sin. As harsh as it is, we're being punished. And people still haven't came to that, that thought. But you're in the you're in the church. So that's supposed to be the house of God. But he allowed a man to go into the house of God and kill you all? That's judgment. We're being judged for our sins, and people have not yet realized that. But we're under grace. The same people say, we got to forgive them. We're under grace. Yeah, we are. We do have mercy, but mercy to get yourself right. Not license, not mercy or grace as a license to commit sin. Right. The Bible says sin no more, meaning stop doing it. If you smoke cigarettes, stop doing it. If you're a doctor, stop doing it. If you're a murderer, stop doing it. If you're a lesbian, stop doing it. If you're a homosexual, stop doing it. Right. So then that's what we're Read. It shall come to pass if thou art not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments Read. and his statutes which I command thee this day. Which God commanded us, not man. God gave us this book. Read. That all these curses. That what? All these curses. That all these what? Curses, right? Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? A bad thing. Bad thing. Check this out. A bad thing, right? That all these bad things, all these curses shall what? Shall come upon thee. Shall come upon us as a people. Read. And overtake. And overtake us. Here's verse 46. So you'll be able to identify us by the curses of God. Because we read earlier that what? He, Christ came to save that which is lost. We're lost not only to our identity, but to our conditions and who we are and what's required of us. Verse, verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. And the curses of God shall be upon us for what? For a sign. A sign. Like a stop. If I want to know what avenue I'm on or what street corner I'm on, I'll look at the sign. Only avenue. Broad and only avenue. So the curses will be
will be a, a, a sign as an indicator showing us who we are. Why are we placed in these conditions? Why does slavery happen to us? Why is there so much discrimination and police brutality? So the curses of God is a sign to answer our questions that we've been asking for centuries. Read. And we're a wonder. A wonder. Why was this, the eat of the, the Caucasian woman able to to go to the brother's apartment, shoot him down in Dallas, and get off the hook? I wonder why is there the uh, blacks and Hispanics fill up the prisons? We wonder that, but we don't really. The crimes that we commit, it's not on the same scale as everybody. They act like the crimes that we commit are as larger than any other nation or race of people. No, they'll take the same offense. I might have committed a crime. He might have committed a crime. He's Caucasian. The same crime. You get probation and slap on wrist. I get 30 years to life in jail. So the curses will be upon us for a sign and for a wonder. Why are we suffering these conditions? Why is this constantly happening to us? And why is this no solution? Read. And upon thy seed forever. And upon our seed forever. Let's get some epidemic curses. Can I say, the Bible says that we were what? Noble, right? We started from the bottom, the top, now we're in the bottom. Verse 43. Deuteronomy 28, verse 43. Read. The stranger that is within thee. The other nations, because when we were delivered by the hand of Moses out of Egypt, because we served under Pharaoh for 400 years under the Egyptian captivity, we had Africans enslaving the Israelites. Who are the Israelites? We're the Israelites according to the Bible. We're the biblical Jews. We're the true Jews. The real Hebrews. Read. The stranger that is within thee. The other nations, they were strangers. They were strangers to God. They were strangers to covenant. God didn't deal with all nations. It's God dealt with all nations. Then why are we on the bottom? Why are we getting shot? Because God dealt with his people. Because we were chosen, we were given the laws of God. That's why we're being punished for not keeping the laws. But the other nations, meaning the strangers, the Japanese, the Chinese, the Caucasians, the so-called Afri the Africans, all the all these other nations outside the side, the God called them strangers. Read. Shall get up above thee very high. The other nations, the Caucasians, they shall get up above us very high. Because where they really come from? The Caucasus Mountain. They were the cave dwellers. So you ask me, and you, you gotta ask yourself a question. How is it that people that came from the caves of Russia, Georgia, the Caucasus Mountain, which were the original cave people, cave men and cave women, how were they able to escape the caves and conquer the mightiest people on the earth? Hey, listen, that's why they create guns to shoot us down. They can't handle us. But how were they able to do this if our power did not give us up? God gave us up unto the other nations. Read that again. The stranger that is within thee. The other nations that are that dwell within us, because when we came out of Egypt, you have the other nations came out along with us, because they were slaves under the Egyptian king as well. Read. Shall get up above thee very high. They will get up above us very high. I showed you images, right? Royal images of us being kings. You have King Arthur was a black man. King Arthur and the Knights Round Table. These were black men, royal men. The black, the knights. Yes. So why is it so much better than one crowd? We're showing it. We're showing you the reason why. We're showing you right now. So you stick around, keep listening, keep listening. Repetition, repetition is key. Understand, understand. All right, read it again. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. So the Bible says, the stranger that is within us shall get up above us very high. Read. And thou shalt come down very low. And we shall come down very low. So whereas we were kings and princes, God took us from the top and brought us down to the bottom. Now we're in the bottom of the total pole. We have come down very low. And that's why, and that's a low self-esteem. Because in deep inside, we hate ourselves. Hold that real quick. Give me Psalm 14 verse 5. And because there's so much black on black crime, we hate ourselves. If you hate yourself, you're going to want to do somebody else harm. And that's the, that is the root of black on black crime. Self-hatred. Low self-esteem. Yes. Listen, nobody can control it. We can't control it. You, can, you know how we control it? By applying it to yourself. By applying the laws to yourself. You gotta control your thoughts. If you don't, listen, as a man, hold that real quick. Give me as a man thinking, so see. The thought process, the man, 
a mind, the mind is the most powerful thing. Think about it. You see all these buildings in existence? How did a building come in existence? The bridges built over water if it didn't come from a thought. It came from a thought of a man. By that man's thought, he says, you know what? I'm going to build a bridge over a body of water. To me, that's impossible. But to that man, he thought it and he accomplished it. So whatever is in your mind, brother, you have the power. Hey, stay here, brother. Stay here. Marcus, stay here. You have the power and ability to overcome any trial and any problem that's in your life. You don't want the solution every week, brother. We go through this. Read that. Proverbs 23 and 7. Read. For as he thinketh. Marcus, it's for you. Read. For as he thinketh in his heart. As a man thinketh in his mind. So is he. So is he. So if you commit to your thoughts that I can't do something, guess what? You program your mind not to do it. Right. If you program to your mind. The only way I can get money is by selling drugs, cigarettes, or whatever the case may be. Then guess what? You're going to do that. But if you program your mind, you know what? I'm going to create my own business. Marcus, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I'm going to have men working for me. Guess what you're going to do, Marcus? Huh? Marcus, you have the power, but you've got to believe. But the reason why you said that it's not true is because you don't believe it's true. That's why you got to recondition your mind. You gotta be renewed in the spirit of your mind right now. You have not yet done that or accept that. I can see you want to, but you're fighting against yourself. You're fighting against you, your own worst enemy, brother. You're your own worst enemy. I'm telling you that. Read that again. Read it again. Come on. As a man thinks, those read it again. Proverbs 23, verse 7. Read. This is life and death, brother. So as a man thinketh in his heart, read, so is he. So is he. As you think, it's a, be patient. This is not a joke. It's not a laughing matter. No, we take this very serious. No, I'm not because I'm bad myself. We take this very serious. So the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. Give me Surah 14, verse 5. Because you said, why is there so much black on black crime, right? Because we are the part of the problem. It starts with you first. Read that. Surah chapter 14, verse 5. Read. He that is evil to himself. He that is evil to himself. If you hate yourself, if you self-inflict your own self, read. To whom will he be good? So to whom would you be good to? So if you're evil to yourself, you mean you inflict yourself. You put evil thoughts in your mind. You put yourself in a lower state. Guess what? That self-hatred is going to develop to a hatred against your brother. So wait, because you hate yourself, you see your brother, you want to do, because you don't want to harm yourself, you're going to harm the man next to you. You're going to harm the man next to, next to you. So give me Sirach chapter 6. This is supposed to be your thought process, Marcus. You can't overcome. Whatever you go through, you can't overcome it. But you got to recondition your thought process. You got to study. You got to put this in your mind. You got to, you got to separate yourself from society. Because it's society that's plaguing your mind. Read. You just don't shake your head. You shake your head at what? Um, Read it. Proverbs, um, Sirach chapter 6. Wisdom Solomon chapter 6. Because the kingdom of heaven is within you. You can remove anything, any problem, any issue. You can, you can handle it. You can do it. You can deal with it. God gave you the power. And the power is this. This is the only way how we're going to overcome. Read that. 6 verse 1. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 verse 1. Hear therefore, O ye kings, and understand. Learn, ye that be judges of the ends of the so earth. So the Bible says, Hear therefore, O ye kings, learn and understand that be judges of the earth. We brought out a book earlier. Bring out the book again. We were the kings of this earth. We were the natural born rulers. We lost that. We fell. We went from the top to the bottom. God diminished us to a lower state. Now look at us. Look at us now. I'm going to show you where we came from. We came from royalty, Marcus. I want to show you what you were and what we need to get back to. We were kings. Yes. The image of the black and what's not. This is our ancestors. This is my forefathers and your forefathers. This is how we used to be before we were enslaved as a people. We were royalty. Look at that. Black men. Night is dark. Um, um, um. This is a real dark night. This is a real dark night. We don't. Now let's go to the next one. Look, look at that. Marcus. You tell me you don't think you look bad at that, brother? Imagine you walking around this type of, of, of garment. This type of armor. Look at this. 
This is your forefathers. This is my forefathers. We went from this. We was a part of this. This was us. This was our lineage. This is our lineage. Right. But now look at us. So we fell. Now we got to learn how to get back to the top. God has given us instructions how to get back to what we were before. Look, more. St. Maurice. Or it could be somebody else. They can't say, hey, St. Maurice. Look, we were the kings of the earth. Go on. You see that? Black men. This is your forefathers. These Marcus. are the statues. These are the statues of your father. Royalty, Marcus. That's where you come. Look, royalty. Your image of your forefathers. And you see the crafty council they took. They knocked the names yeah. off so you can't identify who they are. What they look, black men. That's your forefathers. But what they do, Marcus? They look. You see what is this? A crown, right? right. Made out gold. What kind of man? Is a black man, right? You see a woman. Oh, that's a man. <laughs> that's a man. <laughs> unfortunately, it's a man. Oh, yeah, I'm unfortunately, done, it's a man. I'm done, I'm done. So, so read it again. Read that. I'll start the verse. Next teacher. Thanks. Uh, we'll start the verse. Yeah, read, verse. finish that. Uh, uh, For the very true beginning of hurt is the desire of discipline. Uh huh. And the care of discipline is love. Read. And love is the keeping of her law. So, love, the Bible says, is the keeping of God's law. Now everybody comes with an emotional statement. We gotta love Jesus. All we gotta do is love one another. But what is love? Love is applying God's laws not only to ourselves, but to our brothers and sisters. Read. And the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. So the giving heed to God's laws is the assurance of incorruption. That's how we keep our body from being tainted, our minds from being tainted, right. from being incorrupt. Read. And incorruption maketh us near unto God. So incorruption. The only way you become near to God if you're incorrupt. Meaning you're not defiled with lust. You're not defiled with hatred, with murder, envy, malice. Read. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom. So we must desire wisdom. We must keep God's laws. That's the only way we're going to get out of America's kingdom and get our own kingdom. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.